Hey there, welcome back to Combinatorics. In this video, we're going to continue discussing sets. In particular, we will focus on some basic set operations, including unions, intersections, complements, and Cartesian products. Last video, we started discussing sets. The only sets that we will be concerned with for now are finite sets. So we won't look at any infinite sets like the natural numbers or the real numbers. In this video, we will go over some basic operations that you can do on sets. The first operation that we will consider is the union. If A and B are sets, the union, A union B, of A and B is the set which consists of elements X for which X is an element of A or X is an element of B. We can write this set, the union of A and B, more succinctly using math notation. And we write it as we do in the second bullet where we put squiggles around the set and we can write this set as x colon x in a v x in b. The colon is a shorthand for the words for which. The v is a shorthand for or. Let's look at a simple example. Suppose that our set A consists of the elements 1, 2, 3, 5, 7. Suppose that the set B consists of the elements 2, 3, 6, 8, 9. The union of A and B consists of any elements that are in A or B, which means that its elements are 1, 2, 3, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Observe that both A and B are subsets of A union B. We can write this more succinctly using the subset notation in the last bullet. And that subset sign stands for the words is a subset of. Now we will look at intersections. If A and B are sets, the intersection A intersect B of A and B is the set which consists of elements X for which X is an element of A and X is an element of B. So the difference between the intersection and the union is that we switched the or to an and. We write this more succinctly by replacing the for which with a colon and replacing the and with a wedge. And we put squiggles around to represent that it is the set of x with the property that x is an element of a and x is an element of b. We can look at the same sets A and B that we looked at for the union. This time, when we take the intersection of A and B, we only get two, three. We can see that the intersection of A and B is a subset of both A and B. We can write that succinctly using the subset notation as we do in the last bullet. Here's another operation that we can do called complementation. Again, we have two sets, A and B, 
And first we'll define the relative complement of B in A. We'll write that just as A minus B. And that will be defined as the set which consists of elements of A that are not elements of B. We can write this more succinctly as X colon X in A wedge X not in B. That wedge is the and, and again that colon is the for which. Let's again look at the two sets A and B that we've been considering for the examples on the union and the intersection. If we take the relative complement of B and A, we want to find all elements of A that are not elements of B. If we look at A, we see that one is an element of A, but one's not an element of B. So that should be in the relative complement of B and A. Two is in both A and B, so it's not in the relative complement. Same with three. But both five and seven are elements of A that are not elements of B. So we see that the relative complement of B and A is given by one, five, seven. And we can observe that the relative complement of B and A is, by definition, a subset of A. There's another kind of complement that we can consider. Assuming that all of the sets that we are considering have elements from the same given universal set U. In what kind of situation would this happen? Well, for example, the universal set U could be the set of students in a school. And the sets that we are considering could be different groups of students based on their extracurricular activities. If A is a set from the universe U, then we define the complement of A, which we can denote as A with what looks like a little exponent C. And we define that as the set consisting of the elements of U that are not in A. And we can write that as we wrote in that third bullet as the set of X for which X is in U wedge X is not in A. For example, if U is the set of positive integers less than 1000 and A is a set of even positive integers less than 1000, then A complement is the set of odd positive integers, less than 1,000. For another example, if A is the students on math team and U is the universe of students, then A complement is the students who are not on math team. If B is the students on computer team, then A intersects B is the students who are on both math and computer team. A union B is the students who are on math team or on computer team. So they could possibly be on both or they could possibly be on one or the other. Let's consider one last operation on sets. The Cartesian product of sets A and B, which we denote as A times B, is the set consisting of all distinct ordered pairs X, Y, for which X is an element of A and Y is an element of B. We can write this as a Cartesian product B equals the set of X, Y for which X in A and Y in B. 
And we can note that the cardinality of the Cartesian product of A and B is exactly the cardinality of A times the cardinality of B. Here is a problem for you. Suppose that A is the set of even positive integers less than 1,000. Suppose that B is the set of positive multiples of 3 less than 1,000. And finally, let C be the set of positive multiples of 5 less than 1,000. And the problem is to find the cardinality of the set, which is the Cartesian product of A union B with C. Thanks very much for watching.